and welcome back to the channel on this video we're riding on the original Lyric Graffiti and we have sunshine at the moment but we have had our share of rain lately and so I'm taking advantage of an in between the rain and going out for a ride here and uh, as you can see the bike lane right here is just covered in leaves and this can become a little tricky it, it becomes slippery when you've got the leaves in the bike lane so you got to be careful and be wary of that It's a little bit cool out here it's uh, currently 52 degrees at the moment and we've got a bit of a breeze going as well all these pine cones are in the bike lane as well and that's not fun so in this video I wanted to talk a little bit about e-bikes and range anxiety do you have range anxiety with your e-bike and what exactly do you do about it so what's making me think about talking about range anxiety well it's the fact that I'm getting my new Lyric Graffiti X shortly and whenever I get a new bike I'm not I don't have anxiety over this bike um, the Graffiti X and the range because I think it's going to be fine because it does have a 40 amp hour battery but it does make you think a little bit when you first get your bike you know how far am I going to get on this bike I mean everybody can tell you what you're going to get approximately but you kind of got to find out for yourself, get get the feel of the bike with you on it and how you ride that whole um, situation, you know, with uh, riding it yourself and getting a feel for your bike. And like I say, how you ride. And I think that gives you a good idea. And that's what I do. I kind of get used to the bike. I like to get the feel of the bike in all ways, including, uh, you know, the range. You kind of get an idea what you can go uh, as far as distance, and you got to allow for some things. Like right now, for example, we're coming into the colder weather, and so your battery is going to drain quicker because of the colder weather. And so for me, getting the Lyric Graffiti X, which is coming shortly, as I said, I'm not going to really know the true range of that bike um, until the warmer weather now because it's kind of in the f late fall here and going into winter it's not going to give you the true uh, range that you would get in the nicer weather and most of us ride more often in the warmer nicer weather than we do in the cold and I ride still in the cold too, but I just don't ride as far. And this year I'm going to maybe ride a little less often. Be doing more uh, studio uh, videos. We'll see how uh, things go, but it's not like I'm going to eliminate or stop doing that though. But I just do it a little less often. Uh, and kind of share with some of it um, getting me out of the cold and rain and, and into the studio setting but uh yeah like for range typically the way I look at it is one mile per amp hour and that's throttling only I always look at it that way and you might get a little bit more than that but that's the minimum that where I look so in this case right now I've got two 17.5 amp hour batteries so I figure I should be able to go 35 miles that's not going full 
uh, throttle. You know, I'm not I'm not pinning the throttle for the whole 35 miles, but you know, riding say 25 miles an hour, maybe even 30, off and on a little bit up and down, you know. And uh, so yeah, I figure that bike or this bike will get me 35, and I figure that one. I should be able to at least go 40, and I'm, I'm hoping to go as much as 50, and that's pretty good. Over there is a cop sitting there. I'm not sure what's going on, but his lights aren't going, so it must be fine. But yeah, I always like to get the feel of a new bike in all situations, the brakes. Like for this one here, it has the regen braking and I'd say I use that about 90, 95% of the time. Very rarely do I pull the brake levers on this bike. And the only way or how, the only times I do it is if I need to stop quickly because regen is more of a gradual stop as far as stopping as opposed to hitting the brakes. I can, uh, you know, skid and come to a stop. They have really good brakes on this bike, but I like using the regen braking because I can, because it's there and because it saves my brake pads and puts a little more juice back in the battery, so why not? And I'm so used to using it that I know how much of a distance I need to apply the brake before I'm stopping. You kind of get the feel for it. It's, it's, it's a throttle right here. It's like the thumb throttle on this side for acceleration, but it's the opposite for braking. And I'll just show you right here. I'll show you this. As I push down on it, I come to a stop. It doesn't stop you completely. It just brings you down to like one mile per hour or whatever, and then you can just put your feet down and you're stopped. But yeah, it's, it's impressive. So on the new bike, the Graffiti X, it's going to be different. It's a different kind of a regen. And so I'm going to have to get used to that. And we'll see how that goes. But I do plan on trying to uh, use that as much as I can without hitting the brake harder. And that will apply the... Uh, the regular brakes. So if you do have range issues or worry about it, do you uh, just ride less? Do you get a second battery? Do you, uh, maybe your bike has an option for two batteries and you can have two batteries on the bike at the, at a sa at the same time or are you like some people and they carry, actually carry a second battery? Now I could get a second battery for the Graffiti X, another 40 amp hour battery, but obviously I'd have to carry it somewhere. And there's nowhere on the bike that you could carry it. I suppose if you got a bike rack, you could somehow rig it up, put it on there. I don't, I'm, I don't have a bike rack yet for the bike when I get it, but I uh, do plan on probably getting one and but the cost of a battery if I was to get a second battery is uh, not cheap $1,599 on the Lyric uh, Cycles website mind you it's a good large battery but it's a little bit expensive to uh, fork out for a second battery. I think for myself, I'm just going to go with the battery that it comes with. I'm not going to worry about getting a second battery. And we'll see over time what the range is like. It's almost like I say, it's almost like having to do two range tests because in the winter, you're not going to get as far as you are in the summer. So you can give the winter range, I suppose, and then the summertime range. But I definitely know after riding for enough years that you lose definitely lose uh, battery power quicker in the winter it drains much quicker a big difference 
So if you do uh, plan on doing any winter riding this year in the colder weather, and it's your first time riding in the colder weather, just expect that. Expect it to drop um, some anyway. I don't know how much. You might lose like 20%, I'm guessing, something like that. Uh, if anybody knows how much you actually do uh, lose, I think it's probably something like that or close to it. Uh, but if you do know, let us know in the... Uh, Let us know in the uh, comments below. Share that with everybody. Let me know which, uh, what battery you're rocking on your bike. Uh, do you have a huge battery? Do you carry two batteries? Or is the one that's on the bike whatever it is? You know, it probably ranges anywhere from 14 amp hour. Some are even smaller than that, but say 14 amp hour to 20. That's generally what you get on a lot of bikes. Um, like this bike, Graffiti uh, Original, it had 217.5 option to get a second. It was 117.5 and I got the dual, I got the extra battery. And then there's also the newer Graffiti, the Graffiti uh, 2023 model, and it has two 20 amp hour batteries now, so even nicer. Uh, so you can buy, you know, the, the bike with the one battery or get the second battery option. I think it's $400 more. And I think that's worth it for a 20 amp hour battery. That's going to do it for this video. I thought I'd get out here and enjoy a little sunshine. I can't believe we have a break in the clouds. Look at that. Blue sky up above. And uh, I talk a little bit about batteries and battery anxiety and... Uh, this is just all brought on by the fact that I'm getting the new bike and so I'm anxious to see what kind of range it's going to offer. Hopefully a decent amount. I'm hoping to get close to 50 miles on a range, uh, a full range uh, ride, but we'll see. So that's going to do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the like button, that is. If you uh, would like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. Once again, uh, also you can leave a comment in the comments below. And also thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.